Hello and welcome to Spyro the Reignited Trilogy of your thrillers into the mad. Uh, I never played the first one of Spyro the Dragon. I played the Spyro 2 Gateway to Glimmer, motherfuckers! Gateway to Glimmer, not Ripto's Rage! This is this is nonsense. And I played Year of the Dragon, which I enjoyed. Uh, but uh, this time we are going to go and try out the first one. I think I might continue on with each of these as well in the world of dragons. Yes, yeah, so let's get on with it. Okay, rolling. Uh, oh, oh uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age. We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! Oh my god, look at all those uh, motivational meme posters. Was the cameraman also a dragon? Is the cameraman also now just uh, frozen as a statue? And the adventure does begin. And right, how does playing with a gamepad work again? I feel like I want to invert that. Alright. I don't remember that doing that before. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. That sounds like we've been denied some useful information right there. Ooh, money! Oh, and another dragon. And the new camera angle. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch you! Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh... He's my health bar. Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. I remember Sparks being very helpful in uh, grabbing all the stuff. Oh, hey, that's that's a dude. Oh, and I have to hit him multiple times? I remember there being some automatic rotation to camera. Is that still an option? Yes, it is. Give me the active camera. Thank you. I'm more used to that. Because I don't remember ever playing with the right stick. Using it at all back when I played Spyro. When I grew up. Crash Bandicoot Spyro. Th those were the thing, aren't they? Yes. Which of course means I now have the opportunity to make some great friends with creatures I have not met before. I think I... I tried some of uh, the first one, but I never actually got any far with it. Not sure why? It probably didn't help that I didn't own the game, so might have loaned it from someone and just didn't finish it in time that I was in the time that I was provided. Oh I don't have that option yet, right? Yeah, so I need to jump from here. With precision timing. There's skill points. Pretty sure that's new, right? We have a guidebook. 
Artisan's wound. We have half the money. Almost. There's a stone hill over there. There's Donald over here, which has more money for us. Sparks is a lot louder than I remember. Come on. Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. And and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. I mean, there's none of those here, right? That's, that's just a general warning, right? Oh, you have bags. Money. A flute. A flute and bags. I'll take all of that, thank you. I like how fast the uh, grass recovers, but more importantly, I like the fact that the grass burns. This this just gives me the opportunity to burn the world and watch the world burn and quickly recover. It sounds pretty pretty fantastic, to be honest. Oh, we have the option to head to the down square. I'm not that down certain if that's currently necessary. We have loot to gather. I'm going to back up there. While all these... Uh, uh, Sub-portions... All these portals are probably counted as artisan's world or whatever. I am presently looking to 100% this local area. Wherein we can find some gems. I... Must... Oh right, no, greens were two. Reds are worth one gem, greens are worth two gems, and purples were 25? Was it? Something was worth five, something was worth ten. I think golden ones were worth ten, purples were worth 25, which means bluish, was it? Was. Let me let me remember. Bluish was five, right? I don't know if these these whole are like universal between the games. Hello. If you prove your worth by rescuing ten dragons, then you may use this balloon to fly to a new world. Right. Well, this doesn't look like a prehistoric glacier over here, but I guess we have those opportunities in other realms. Scattered across the place, as yeah, per usual. Ooh. What are you? I still don't know what that was. But from the sound, I'm not entirely sure I was meant to break it, specifically. On the other hand, we did get a life. Which is more than I can say for real life. Hello. Looks like there's more treasure and another dragon here. So, yeah. That should put us where we need to be for this particular territory. Make up. Put on another make up. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Just the one? Alright, well, uh, this looks interesting, so I'm gonna head here. Into the maze. Uh, or the dark hollow. Which sounds like it's a bit hollow, doesn't it? I mean, I guess we could see about filling it up, maybe some gravel, maybe just a lot of uh, all sorts of stuff. Oh, hey, can can I just fly about in the this a bit? Yeah, just a bit. Oh. 
Okay, well, the Frogo is for feeding sparks because every creature in this world can become a butterfly if they so hard, if they believe hard enough. Anyway, what is this? I guess that one re needs a key. There's another bastard somewhere. I heard them. I wonder if it's possible to increase the field of view a little bit, or anything like that. Because I don't know how this is currently... Like, it's okay to play. Okay, so I burnt his ass. As I was probably meant to. Ooh, is there something over here? No, it's just books. I'm probably not allowed to up the books. Oh, okay, that worked. Yeah, blue R5. Buff. Buff 5? 5 buff. Either way, I think it's fine, right? Spyro, want to know a secret? Use the action button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Wait, what was this? <laughs> I did, I th I'm quite sure that was not an option in the past. Hi, Spyro. Uh, no. Ah, and here's the key that I was hunting for, I believe. And when I say hunting for, I mean I saw it. I saw the chest that I needed. To open with it, so I might as well have been hunting for it. All right, yeah, this this was uh, the quick way to refocus the camera, wasn't it? But now it's just like for tapping, which is fair enough. I mean, they have put a lot of work into rebuilding these environments, which are unfamiliar to me in the first place because I haven't played the first one enough. First one enough to actually have formed a strong enough impression for any sort of nostalgia chat to have kept around. For that we have two and three. Okay. Open the chest, show me the treasure. No gold coins. Coins? Gems. Oh my! I think this guy actually hurt me. That's mostly because the camera, even when active, is still not always active enough for me. Because I keep expecting to be able to turn around, night eyes, and just uh, continue on with my activities. Okay. I'm just gonna bash my head into every wall I can because just that's just how I roll. The giant drumstick, I believe, is a classic weapon in all of all of the Spyro games. It's a truly inspirational set of arms, to be sure. If I could just walk around with a drumstick the size of my own body, I'd do so. Big enemies like this Nork with the club cannot be charged, but a quick flame that should defeat them. Oh, and here's the return home thing. Which technically marks the mission as complete, right? Okay, let's take a proper look at you now. What are you? You're a mini Spyro, I guess. Since you're a hit point, a life. No, I didn't intend to feed Sparks, but I'm sure Sparks will be happy regardless. If I remember correctly, these things just respawn until the end of time, so that's fine. Give me another shot, thank you. And you? Oh, it's you. 
I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. I mean, I never... I guess never felt the necessity to mention that mechanic myself, did I? No, I just survived. I guess that, that's the advantage of having played the game before. However long ago that may have been. Because you know, uh, Years of the Dragon naturally came out on the Years of the Dragon 2000. And they got that when it was pretty new. So, oh my god. Oh my god. I've been a gamer for over 20 years now. That's right. I'm an old hardcore game. Well, not so much hardcore, but you know, I've played video games before. I know how some of them work. Anyway, let's head over to our next destination. And that should provide us with uh, more adventure. Thus far, it's been very straightforward. Uh, I remember having seen a video about how the first one is generally ridiculously tough in ways that aren't really all that fun to experience at times. I think we should be fine for now. I mean, it's just the first world. Oh god. Look at him. Uh, we need to get closer. Look at him. Look at him. Like, yeah, I knowingly took the hit, but I just... I had to. Look at how pretty he is. That's a good ram. Honestly, that's the sort of ram I would install in the computer. What? Wait, no. No, I should not install that sort of a ram in the computer. That's... It's not gonna fit, is it? Oh, hi. That's another... Knife. And lives are generally pretty good to have. Oh, hey, you were on TV earlier. After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! But I know I want to hear the story. Mm, thus far, Spurs personality seems more in line with the PlayStation 2 games than with what I remember from uh, 2 and 3. But I don't remember Spyro's personality from 1. But 2 and 3 had him be... Well, remind me at least of uh, like a suave agent of sorts. Which is fun. Get up. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. I mean, is it that our job to run into trouble? No, oh well. Right, so. I was about to say something. Right, yeah, while uh, he Hero's Tale, uh, I think that was the name of it, uh, had Spyro seem a little bit more childish, I guess. Well, this is a more than 100 gem mission. That's interesting. Are we really just here beating up random shepherds and their rams? Is that really what the dragon's life has come to? Okay, I can hear you, you bastard. But I'm not sure where you are. I, I suspect he's on a wall somewhere, maybe? Or 
No, that, that's, that's not that. Oh! Hello! Spyro, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump. And try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. I don't quite remember if that is exactly how I remember things to work. Because I think I tried the whole uh, hit the triangle button to solve things for, but I didn't quite succeed. Ah, oh, there you are, you little leg thief! Like, I don't even know... What are we collecting eggs for in this one? I miscut that corner. There we go. Is this an extra life or is this just just something? I guess it's just something for the moment. Okay, and I want to check if there's yeah, there's the exit over there. And we're currently missing what? Another dragon and approximately 50 gems. But since we now discovered that this uh, area up here is very much explorable, uh, well, not very much explorable, somewhat explorable, there's these boundaries here that mark exactly how far we can go, but uh, other than that, it's entirely possible that there's a lot more of gems and dragons up here, which I may or may not be interested in gathering. I believe the answer is self-evident, I will want them. I want to loot everything. Which makes me a lot worried about the whole fact that there's like 50 gems that I'm missing. Like that feels like an entire treasure trove. And I don't yet have evidence as to where this treasure trove might be. Oh, this apparently helps. Oh, don't don't get too stuck, yeah. So these edges, we're hiding more loot than I initially expected. But the upstairs bit doesn't seem accessible. At least counting from that specific collision. Come on, give me, give me, give me! No, okay. None of that then. I have not been in this well. Oh, and there's a key somewhere on this map that I haven't found either. And that's what they are for. Dragonfly Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong, like me. Uh, sure. Okay, we found all the dragons in. <clears throat> we found all the dragons in this particular area. But I'm still curious about that treasure, especially now that we know there's a treasure key on this map. So that's, that's going to make uh, me far keener on trying to find this treasure, isn't it? I think it's gonna be have to be in the shepherd field. Because it, that's a large zone that I didn't maybe explore quite as fully as I could have. So it's just uh, punching out rams and and shepherds and this area seems clear at first glance, but uh, let's take a look up here for a moment because we may want to see if there's any evidence on any other place I could have landed instead of the very edge of the map. 
I did not find any evidence. At first glance, and apparently that is as much as I was willing to invest. Which is my fault entirely. Right, but where are they keeping the key? Where are they hiding my treasure? They know I'm after it. Even we know we're after it. So this... Mess. I'm very curious as to where that key is. Like sure I'm sprinting everywhere, but that doesn't mean we are just running past obvious signs, right? So whatever signs we're looking for are slightly less obvious than I would like. Or just about an obvious enough that I just manage to skip them every time. I see. And that's gonna help. Awesome! There's the key. And... Here's the treasure. Now there's 15 points of treasure remaining, which I assume are in the key locked chest. Down in the well. Which would make sense at this point of time, where we had already located all of this stuff. Open sesame! Or... Chestamy. What? We are still missing 5 gems. But I cannot... I cannot leave this matter unattended. Gems, I need them. Did I fully explore whatever was in this direction? I would like to believe so. So would the game by the looks of it. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna just uh, check down here again, see if I missed the chest or something. No, that looks fine. Sparks, tell me where the treasure is. Sparks, 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 tell me where the treasure is. I know Sparks served that function in Spiral 3 at some point after beating a few bonus levels. That gave access to more Sparks powers. But for now, I, I believe I'll just uh, see if we can take another quick look around. And if I can, that's great. Oh, apparently these guys have a chance... Oh right, no, they always had a chance to drop a full life. I forgot about that. There is a there is an advantage to keeping sparks well and truly full fed. It's probably also an advantage to not just running around in a circle like a big doofus. But uh, that's not currently the point we're chasing. <gasps> Here's some. And now we're just missing one of the two cost ones, or another two ones that are just uh, off on the edge of the map somewhere waiting for me to stop by. Or no, it's here. Excellent. We have finished this level. Which is apparently the bare minimum I'm willing to do. Hi buddies! Where are you? Oh, the poor thing. 
You are holding a gem still. I know you don't actually have any gems left, but you're holding a gem. My greed, it will not be uh, so easily sated by common sense like you don't actually get to have a ton of loot at all times. It would be interesting though if uh, the mesh was reflected to display the fact that this guy doesn't actually have any loot left. Yeah, okay, but that's fine. That's that's enough for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time with more Spyro because I love this game. Don't let anyone know, but this is this is just uh, me having some fun. Okay, bye bye.